Hi everyone, my name is Michael. I'm third horn of the Boston Symphony. Today I'm going to tell you about one of my cool excerpts is third horn, which is the Queen Mob Scherzo from Berlioz's Romeo and Juliet. It's pretty fun for a couple of reasons. First of all, Romeo and Juliet, anything is usually pretty great. Well, there's Prokofi for Berlioz. Berlioz, anything is pretty great to play because it's really fun and really energetic. And this particular one has a really scary and really kind of dicey third horn part because it's this really high thing comes out of absolute nowhere in that particular part of the piece. Um, but it's really fun because it's really cute and all the other horn parts do some cool stuff around it and it kind of blips around. So let me play a little bit of it and then we'll talk a little bit about it. So that's pretty much it. Seems pretty simple. Um, in context, you kind of sit there for a while and wait to do not much. And then the first two horns go boom, 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 boom. So it's kind of fun. Lots of horn players use a different instrument for this because before this part, the strings are doing some stuff that's really, really, really light. And then the woodwinds do it and the first two horns do it. So they either use a descant horn or a or a triple a lot of the time. For me, I'm playing this. This is a single B flat made by Alexander. This was my grandfather's horn, um, super old. This instrument is the same vintage as ones played by Dennis Brain, who's a really famous, famous British horn soloist back in the day. I'm really lucky to have an instrument of this era that's in this great shape. So I figure if I got it, why not play it? So one of the cool things about the barely is one of the hard things you gotta make it sound easy, which it's not. <laughs> so one of the things I like to practice is practice it on the mouthpiece. Playing stuff on the mouthpiece means you gotta be really efficient and it'll kind of tell you exactly where your pitch is and what your note shapes are like. The horn will kind of corral the notes for you if they're not dead bang where they need to be, which is okay if that happens, but it's kind of like driving down the road, hitting the guardrails to stay on the highway. It's not very good for the car and it scares everybody else on the road. And, you know, I don't want to scare the people around me when I'm playing the horn any more than I already do. So anyway, good way to practice on the mouthpiece and see exactly where my pitch is. So my pitch isn't terrible, but it's actually not that good either. So some stuff, it's close to a half step off, but happily the horn's fixing it for me. I'd kind of rather play it better and have the horn not have to fix it for me. That way the horn can just ring and I'll sound better. That's that first interval that wasn't real good. It's a little closer. So that's this dicey part at the end where it goes da 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 and you have to be able to tell that it's a difference by about a half step. One of my keys to success on this excerpt actually is making sure my air is really easy. It's one of those things if you watch a baseball player hit or a home run, it's an easy windup, it's just one of those you know, like it's absolutely nothing, which is great. And you think, oh, that looks like it's so easy. Obviously it's not, but it's that efficiency of, of the swing, whether it's golfer, baseball player, you name it. So for us, that same kind of inhale, exhale, if you can have that same kind of just kind of ease, no wind up, no tension, ideally, tends to make this work a little bit better. Pretty good, but not great. A little tense, a little tight. So see if I can ease up on my on my breathing, let things just roll a little bit. I'm gonna take it just a little bit faster too, because I think I'm a little slow.
pitch isn't so good anymore. Let me try one more time. little closer not bad for you know 9 30 at night on a saturday so hope everybody enjoyed this i look forward to seeing you guys soon